I have verified her breathing. Thank goodness. We made it in time. It's Sari. I was so scared. I thought she might be dead. Conscience would come calling if we let her die, wouldn't it? <sighs> Welcome to this place, my friends. You were in Trop. Hmm? Have we met somewhere before, then? If that is indeed the case, then what a truly delightful occurrence this is. You must have been brought here by our humble efforts to make Asmodeus's magnificence known throughout the land. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Come, and let us offer our prayers to Asmodeus. We shall witness his resurrection together. And together, we shall be destroyed so that a new world may be born. We're not here to worship Asmodeus. We're here to get our friend. Friend? Ah, you must mean the lovely young feather folk. You are free to worship whatever god, whatever archfiend you please. But only after you've righted your wrongs. I must confess, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. We're already aware that you were deliberately spreading the stone sickness in order to foment unrest. Hmm. But I ask you, where exactly is the sin in that? What? The world is slowly but surely heading on the path to destruction. Our activities merely serve to help it along toward its ultimate destiny. Your friend shall have the honor of becoming that world's cornerstone. Why will you? Her friend, not rejoice in the honor she has been granted. I do not understand you. Nonsense! The destruction of the world? Give me a break! That's not what Sarah wants! My, my. You speak foolishness, my son. That is exactly what she wants. I know it to be true. Yes. I know very well. <laughs> Even if she may not, I know it. Mr. Edge, what is this man? What is this creature that stands before us? So creepy. Taking this form allowed me to truly understand. The appetite of human beings is insatiable. Humans are never satisfied with what they have for very long. They endlessly seek new and exotic pleasures. But the reality of this world is not conducive to supporting such an appetite. It has limits, you know. Thus, you see, I am unsatisfied. Land, glory, money, no matter how much I acquire. I'm afraid I've completely exhausted the world's resources of such things. But still I want more, more, more. Yes, even if my mortal body should decay and burn. Now you see just how insatiable the human appetite really is. You bastard. You miserable bastard! You'd kill Sarah for something so stupid? Everyone who lives on this planet? Your entire world? Uh, so, this is Edge's power. The power of the Mu'a within him. Such heat. Right. It's so beautiful. People, it's time! Edge! I may be insignificant, but now I've found something I'm capable of, and I'm going to see it through! Roke doesn't want this kind of death. We're stopping this resurrection, and we're getting Sarah back! Yes! 
very well. For the sake of a glorious new world, I bestow upon thee destruction. Let's go! Your forgiveness, great Asmodeus. I was not worthy enough. My greed prevented your resurrection. But uh, I beseech you, almighty Archfiend, bring to these people their destruction and bless them in your beautiful new world. What did that man truly want? I really have no idea, but he stayed a zealot to his god until the very end. Almost like... Sarah. through my window. I thought I would go and make them some tea, but then... Yes, that's right. They took me away somewhere. Goodness gracious, I wasn't expecting that at all. <sighs> You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. I was asleep, so I'm not quite certain what happened next. But it seems that you've all come down here to rescue me? I'm so grateful for your help. I really can't thank you enough. Hmm? What? what I take it you had a chance to talk to Miss Elena, huh? You look just a little better, you know? Yes, yes, I'm so glad. Sarah. I... I... Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. I know. 
I didn't... Screw up this time. You... And Rook... Are alive. moment. Oh, and by the way, there was nothing over here. Nothing. At all. That's all they've got? Anticlimactic. I 
was just getting warmed up. Bring him on. Feels like so long since I've seen the sky. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, there's something that I need to tell everyone. I have to head back to Trop and let Miss Elena know that Mr. Asmodeus wasn't resurrected after all. Thank you all so much for everything you've done for me. Well then, see you later! She just left us. Sari! That was a little anticlimactic. I guess it is just like her, but yeah, I'll miss her. And Elena, she really helped us out. Didn't she? Yeah. You know, I always hated myself for being different. I couldn't stand what had been done to me. I don't feel like I'm totally past it yet. But... I do feel a little more comfortable with myself now. Elena's encouragement definitely helped, but more than anything else, it was because the light from your crest was so warm. My... crest... Just be the edge you've always been, always moving forward. As long as you can do that, I know your crest will keep on shining forever. And I'll stand with you in that light, and keep on shining myself. You and me. Forever. Yeah. What's wrong, bees? Hmm? Uh? Is something the matter, Limmel? Bees, there's something weird with you, Kay. It's your imagination. What was that? A message from Welch. Return to the Kalnus immediately. Did something happen? I don't know. Let's get moving.
Is this woman having an episode? Lynn says this is how she always is. Sorry, Welch, but do you think you can get to the point? Oh, right. I got a little carried away there, huh? Ahem. <clears throat> you have new orders from USTA headquarters. From HQ? Captain Edge Maverick, along with all SRF-003 Kalnus crew, are to report to Planet Eos immediately, okay? Planet Eos immediately? What for? Eos? But I thought Captain Grafton was doing exploration work with the Eldarians there. Our communications with the exploration base were cut off with no warning. Comms are down? Earth has been trying to get through to them, but there's been no response. That's odd. What's the reaction from Eldar? Well... As of now, nobody's been able to contact Eldar, either. Eldar, too? That's where you guys come in. Investigate what's happening on Eos and report back to headquarters ASAP. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Welch. Hey, don't even mention it, kid. See ya! Oh, and by the way, looks like maintenance is all finished. What are we going to do? The obvious, of course. We're going to follow orders. Besides, I'm worried about what's happened on Eos, too. Yes, I'm concerned about my Eldarian brethren as well. Sounds pretty bad. Yes, Eos is a little dangerous. Hmm? What is it? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. It's just... I feel like there's something different about you. I almost said the same thing earlier. It's just your imagination. How long are you going to keep wearing that face? <laughs> you still think it looks bad on me? Yeah. Well, that just gives me another reason to wear it. I suppose I'll have to keep it on until I can convince you it looks good. <gasps> the Countess will depart for Eos as soon as preparations are complete. Nice! Hey gang! Let's just get right 
into it, shall we? Figure it out soon, I don't have all day. Right, right? All finished!
It's not like I was holding back, but is this all they've got? It seems my travels with you all were no mistake.